Sarah, 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 you are an absolute beast. You're a beast. What's going on fam? It's your boy, Papa Solio. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forging Pillars. We have an amazing story for you today. And this is about Sarah. I am just stoked to share this transformation. One, because all social media apps seem to be allergic to transformation photos. Not only does YouTube remove my thumbnails half the time, can't post shit like this on Instagram, because everyone gets super offended when they see someone else getting amazing results. Now, why is that? Why is that? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's because of everyone else's low self-esteem projecting their insecurities onto you. It's just like when you take your prepared meal to a friend's house or a family dinner or to work and someone says, oh, you're gonna eat healthy all the time? Wouldn't you be a bodybuilder? Man, why you always have to eat healthy? Oh my God, that looks gross. Man, this pizza tastes so good. Everyone gives you crap because it's exposing to them. It's showing them, hey, look, hey, look what you're not doing, buddy. Hey, look, you're fat and you're eating pizza and this person over here is having their grass grass-fed beef and sweet potatoes at work. They put in the effort, they prepared it and you didn't. So they give you shit for it. So anyway, social media apps and eighth place trophies and this whole pussification culture, it's ramping up. It's ramping up, but I'm not gonna stop sharing these amazing stories because I think it's so important for you to understand that you have the power to change your body. You have the power to change your outlook on your health and your outlook on your future. I think it's so fucking important. All right, check out this post from Sarah inside the Swole Fam. Now, if you wanna check out all these posts, you wanna get access to the best, the most amazing fitness fam in the realm, check out SwoleNormousX.com, the link's down below. You could join all of us privately inside our private Facebook group, our private Swole Fam Discord. You get access to Swole TV with a lot of exclusive content that I don't post on any other platform. You got the Swole Motion behind the scenes vlogs. You have Driving While Gaining Uncensored. For those of you that like Driving While gaining that has not gone anywhere. It's just too hot for YouTube. So it's private for members only. We also have Nuts on Chin Unplugged where I react to my own salty sack. I do a lot of reaction videos to my own content. It's awesome. Plus the Raw series and Daily Swole Priority Access episodes that aren't available to the public. So you get all that even with just the Swole Fan membership. But you can also check out our unlimited options for full programs, our full yoga studio, full meditation center, everything that you need over there at SwoleNormousX.com. Seriously, check it out. It's fucking unreal. Sarah, here's her post from inside uh, the private group. Stats, starting weight, 360 pounds. Left photo, 300 pounds. Current weight, 185. 185. So that's about a, what, 175 pound loss right there. In under two years, she writes, I went from a 55 inch waist and 65 inch hips to a 30 inch waist and 42 inch hips. Now, for those of you that can't do math and let's see if I can do it, 55 inch waist, that's 25 inches around her waist and was at 23 inches around her hips. That's unreal. Take photos and measurements because sometimes you're gonna need them to prove to yourself that you worked really hard. The memory is a tricky place and I'll come back to that at the end. It's like seeing two different people when I look at pictures of myself from two years ago versus today. I can hardly believe how much being overweight affected my face. I honestly don't remember seeing myself as this heavy and this was 60 pounds into my weight loss. But that is why we take pictures. The memory is tricky. Take comparison photos, measure, good, luck fam. So let's get a little round of applause, hit that like button, but also drop a comment, some biceps and gorillas for your girl, Sarah, for absolutely destroying it. I mean, you look amazing. I'm just really so proud of you. And everyone inside the Swole Fam is just super proud of your progress. And I can't wait to see the next pictures, but this is amazing because so many people don't wanna take pictures and you might be the same way. So if you were overweight or you were obese or you are obese, have you taken pictures or did you avoid taking pictures? You could drop that down below. And it's because most people don't wanna see themselves. That's why they wanna change because they're not happy with their body. They don't wanna take pictures. They think, oh, I don't wanna take pictures. I'm just gonna make this, make progress. But what you don't understand is that you don't wanna take pictures when you're obese, but then once you're not obese anymore, you are running around showing the world at your old, you're showing everyone your fat pictures. Like, look, look at where I came from. Look, look at where I used to be. Look, you can do it too. Look, you end up being your own biggest promoter. And it becomes a picture that you're embarrassed for, and then it turns into something you're proud of. And that's very important that what she said is that the memory is tricky. And 1,000%, the memory is tricky. 1,000%. 
100%. You're not gonna remember, you think you will. You think you'll have that context, but there's so much information, so much data, especially with cell phones and computers and stuff. Like there's so much stuff going into our eyes and our ears and you're just, you're not gonna have that same, you, you're not gonna get that tangible recollection. It's not gonna be the same as having a picture that's black and white, you know, obviously it's color, but that's gonna show you, boom, objectively. This is what you look like on this day at this time, wearing these clothes, in this lighting, from this distance, with this camera, boom. This was you, objectively. You're always gonna remember things differently. Oh, I remember I was really big, but you're not gonna remember how big. You ever see people when they, they take out their fat pants and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I used to fit in these pants. It's just that contrast. It's like looking in the mirror every day and you lose 10 pounds or 15 pounds or 20 pounds and you're like, I think I see progress, I think I look better, but then someone that hasn't seen you for six months is like, dude, you lost so much weight. You look so ripped. You look great. How'd you do it? What have you done? It's that because they're seeing, you know, they're seeing the before and after. They're not seeing the whole process. And if you're looking at yourself every day in the mirror, it's like watching a teapot boil or paint dry. You don't really see the progress moment to moment, but you do when you look at it, you know, juxtaposing the beginning all the way to the end. This is amazing. It's an amazing story, amazing progress. Just goes to show how much difference you can actually make in your body and under two years. But think about it, two years, everyone's trying to do it in three months or hey, I have a cruise coming up in six weeks. This is your lifestyle. This is your journey. This is your process. You have to enjoy executing every single day, executing your seven pillars, making sure that you're doing the right things every day, having those wins every fucking day. That way it's going to lead to those end results. If you're always thinking about this lofty end goal, you're gonna get discouraged half the time. This is very important. Keep your head down, focus on what you can control, nail your seven pillars. If you don't know what the seven pillars are, check the links down below. It's a free ebook, The Seven Pillars of Swole Normous. That's what the entire Swole fam live by every single day to make Make sure we're checking off our list and getting what we need to get done every day. And these are things that we can control, not the shit that you see on the news, the things that we can control in our day to day that's gonna lead to those amazing results. So Sarah, from myself and the entire Swole fam, we love you. Thank you so much for sharing and super big props and gorillas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drop some biceps and gorillas in the comments for Sarah. And if you wanna join her, myself and the Swole fam inside Swole Normous X, Check it out, swolenormousx.com. Drop a like and hit that comment button or hit the subscribe button and the bell, drop a comment. Do all those things. Hit the like button and drop a comment. Show Sarah your support. So I'm looking forward to seeing you over there at swolenormousx.com. Again, much love, Sarah. Congratulations, keep crushing it. And I'll see you real soon back here, fam, for some more Forging Pillars. Peace the fu out. Sarah, you looking fine. You look good, girl. Keep on crushing it. Keep on trucking. Keep on looking good. Maybe you can give me some tips because I am trying to slim up some of this big old juicy. I mean, look at these juicy titties. Try to slim down a little bit. Looking a little thick, but hey, we all like it thick, right? Don't we, fam? Don't we? Yeah? Anyway, congratulations, Sarah. You looking good. Just like this sexy peppermint tip. This tip looks good too. Don't you want some? Yeah. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Rilla mo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real free. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke. We in Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Yeah. Hey, y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a rented crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to see a new side of me. I hope you know. We stand up and watch our enemy go. Empire fall, my legacy grows. I might just hop.